our connection is with the Hollywood Prayer Network. Oh, I had the privilege of singing my new single. It's called Growing Up Christmas List. And I'll be singing that tonight and sharing my heart about the words of that song. They are growing up wishes, but for me, they are growing up prayers. It's for the world. We need a lot of it. A lot of it. Hello everyone, I am here with Edwina Finley and she is an actress. She started alongside Kevin Hart and Get Hart and on Tyler Perry's If Loving You Is Wrong. How are you doing tonight? I'm wonderful. How are you? You I'm, look a schnazzy. Thank you. I appreciate yes. that. You look absolutely amazing. Thank now, you. you are co-hosting the event tonight. Tell me how you got involved with the Hollywood Prayer Network and why it's important to you. Yeah, I mean, they are such a blessing. I feel like for any believer who's coming into Hollywood, especially if you're just beginning or honestly, if you're already established, Hollywood Prayer Network is a wonderful place to be prayed for, to be encouraged, and to be ministered to. Absolutely. Now, I don't want to keep you long because I know you got to get inside, but I just got to bring it up. You also starred on Tyler Perry's of Loving You as Raw, and I was a big fan of that show. I saw, saw every episode. <laughs> now, I know Kelly was going through it. Your character Kelly was, Ke going, through Kelly was going through it. Now, was it what was the funnest part about playing that role for you? Oh, gosh, probably my days in jail. Because um, <laughs> Tyler just kind of it kept getting crazier and crazier. Right, yeah. And then probably my antithesis of Eddie. You yeah. know, he and I were, were going Eddie at it, insane. especially in jail. I feel like Tyler started taking both of us to the limit. Was it ever a time playing that uh, character or reading that role where it ever just took a toll on you? Because I was at home watching and it was, I was like, come on, Kelly. It was stressing me out. Listen, you know, I think, I think when it really took a toll was when I ended up in the mental institution where I wanted mm. to take my own life. Yeah. That right there, that was when Absolutely. it just you know hit home all the things that kelly was going through culminated right there you know so i would definitely say that was one of the most intense um parts of of me playing that role all right and lastly what are you looking forward to most this christmas oh my goodness well my husband if i can bring him in yeah, of course Come we're on. traveling hello where are you guys going? We're, uh, oh gosh, we're going to Orlando, yeah. Miami, Mexico, oh, Atlanta. Really yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing a little East Coast and, and Mexico tour. Oh, so, absolutely yeah. beautiful. I'm excited about that with our girls. So, How are you doing tonight? Doing well, thank you. Absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you. No problem. Now, what are you here performing tonight? I am singing Joy to the World. Uh, Mariah Carey's arrangement. Okay. So, I'm excited. I grew up listening to her new album. So why is the Exactly, your involvement is 
with the Hollywood Prayer Network. My involvement with the Hollywood Prayer Network is I am an entertainment professional as a singer-songwriter, pop army artist, and my involvement specifically is to serve the world with my voice and bring life through the arts. So you're performing tonight? Yes. What are you, what are you performing? Um, I'm performing Donny Hathaway's This Christmas. Wow. Famously known by Chris Brown as well, depending yeah. on which area you come from. Yeah. Yeah. So I know that you are extremely passionate about breaking chains of depression and ending systemic father fatherlessness. Can you talk about why these issues are important to you and what you do to help? Well, ending systemic fatherlessness is really, really important to me because you know I come from a broken home. You know, my parents did the best they could. I love and respect them, but you know their marriage didn't work out. So that, you know, created me a lot of self doubt, a lot of self hatred, and low self esteem. And the importance of this is to me. Is I feel there are so many males out there that are to be our future leaders who don't have good role models. So now that I'm in my generation, where I'm at, I want to be a good role model to males coming up and to be able to show men that their highest masculine flex is to be a provider and to be a protector of the women, the families. Absolutely. Now, how important was it for you to be here tonight? It's really important for me to be here with the Hollywood Prayer Network because this ministry has been around. It's tried and true. There's so many things that people don't know that happen behind the scenes in the industry. But to have a place to be able to communicate that effectively in a safe environment is so, so important. Stability and peace. Because, you know, we're missing so much peace. We have like a famine and peace in the world. So to be here with the Hollywood Prayer Network is a place where I solutions that end in peace. Under the sun 